Let's go have a look at this grill. Ta da! <laughs> Now does this thing look cool or what? So let me introduce you guys to the Caveman. And the Caveman is a Dutch product. It's a, of course a Santa Maria style barbecue. That's what it's called. And what the Santa Maria basically means is that you have your fire pit underneath and you got a grill grate which raises up. You got a big wheel here, you unlock it and then you're able to lift it. You just essentially build a wood fire in here. Get your logs in, fire them up, get a big fire growing and then spread out the coals on the bottom like a V-shaped grill. In this case, it's stainless steel. And what that does, it takes away the fat that dripping from your meat and it transport it away from the fire to protect it from getting flare ups. You can lift the grill grate up and it creates a distance between the meat and the fire. So a grill like this offers a lot of options to create the right temperature for your meat to be searing. And at the same time, you get the opportunity to cook your meat over wood fire. And that's a great thing. You know, I like briquettes, I like charcoal, but there's nothing better than a wood-fired barbecue or wood-fired grill. So down here we have an air vent that will allow oxygen to come to the fire. We got a basket that will catch all of the ash. On the inside here, it's covered with brick to insulate the heat that's coming from the fire. We got a stainless steel top. We got a steel base with really high wheels. Look at the wheels. It weighs a ton, but it's sturdy as hell. And what's kind of cool, I want to show you guys. What's kind of cool is that you got your number here. This is the production number. This is production number 14. That's kind of cool, right? At the bottom, there's a hardwood base where you can put your gear. We need to get this thing fired up. It always takes some more time than you think. I usually take about an hour or so to, uh, to get the fire going. The caveman is all fired up. And as you can see, it's pretty darn hot in here. Just to show you guys what this grill can do, I made two uh, sauces, one uh, piri piri sauce and one chim chimichurri sauce. And we're gonna use these on our chicken. And I got some lovely free range chicken here, which are going to go on the grill. So now by lowering and raising our grill grate, as you see here, we can either grill or just cook these chicken. Let's flip this chicken around. I'll start brushing on some of my piri piri sauce. Make sure I got plenty of it in there. And you always want to stick around when you got something like this on the grill. Because you're working with wood, you never know what you can expect. You just gotta keep looking at, at it. You're grilling, you're working with heat. We are looking for that perfect grilled chicken. Well, as you guys can see, this grill is really doing a great job. And I love what it does. You know, it's just simple wood-fired cooking and there goes a little bit of engineering into this. They thought of everything. They got the right grill grates, they got the right thickness of the grill grate, they got a little dripping tray, they got their racing rack, but high enough as well to really have a wood fire under there. They got the bricks underneath to retain the heat. These things, they would attract a big crowd. If you have one of these in an event, man, everybody's at your grill. You know they're gonna be at your place because this just looks fantastic. The only thing is that I didn't mention yet is the price. They didn't list the price and that's for a good reason, of course. You know when companies don't list prices, you probably know what they're going to cost. But if you're looking for one anyway, go down to the video description. There's a link in there and you can go to their website and talk to them and see if you get, can get one of these grills and what the price for that should be. I really enjoyed grilling on it. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And um, I'm sorry to see it go because it's going to leave tomorrow already. But uh, well, at least I got the grill on it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Cheers.